Hey folks, time for another condensed gameplay video. I did play a doctor recently, but veterinarian is a bit different and I haven't touched it in a while. Now you can't really live on the lot where your vet runs a business, but you sure can put a bed there and never leave. It's like home in spirit. So what do we need for a vet? I honestly have no idea. I used the vet business that came with the pack and trashed one of the rooms to make a bedroom I won't use. I think you need an operating table and some lab stuff. We have that, but we lack one important thing, an education. There is no way you can just do this without seven to 10 years of college, not with a clear conscience anyway. I wanted to help my sim learn the all important veterinarian skill, but no skill book exists. I found you can learn at the lab, but it's boring and it takes forever and I don't see how that's gonna help me deliver puppies. So I guess at this point, we just do this thing and get hands on experience. So I click down here and voila, we are now open and can treat sick cats and dogs, but nothing else. I hear they don't even bother with lectures on horse anatomy at the vet school in Brindleton Bay. It didn't take long for a patient to come in, a, a dog with glowing feet. I feel like none of you would believe me if I didn't have it on video. So I get him to the exam table and now I see how vet gameplay is. It's been a while. Cats and dogs have this fear meter and this dog is a big wimp. It starts half full, so I decide to calm him first. The meter goes to zero, and now I can do tests. On the bright side, you don't have a dungeon master like with the doctor. You can choose which exam to perform at any time. It's almost like you own your own business and are incentivized to do what's best for the patient. When I finish the first checkup, I get my first clue. The dog has hot feet, and I guess that's not a surprising clue. I check the treatment menu between tests. It gives me a thumbs down on some, but others are question marks. This means they haven't been ruled out yet. My sim gets a level in vet school, which I think we all know was needed, but it doesn't say I'm better as a vet. I learned to make drugs for animals as a reward and a cutesy mailbox. Remember this, if the game starts giving you build mode items as a reward early on, it's because they couldn't think of something else. I mean, I can't even receive mail here because my home is an empty lot next door. During this exam, the dog's meter spikes. That's going to lower my star rating with this customer. I couldn't possibly risk making my first customer mad, so I calm him down. Eventually, I figure it out. It's Blazing Tootsies, which I'm guessing is a name someone made up. The treatment is a parasite killer spray. When it's over, something goes wrong. My sim treats the owner like garbage and yells at her for some reason. We get another patient really quick. Despite what my mom says, I can be clever sometimes. I didn't place another vet lot, so if your pet is sick, I'm your guy. Because if you live here, there is literally nothing else. Well, uh, this little dog has red glowing feet like the last one. I cannot help but think that it could be the same thing. I run only one test, then give him the spray. I don't know if this was a bad idea because I lack a formal education. It worked this time, so that probably means it'll always work. When I'm done, I go to discharge them, and my vet yells at this one too. I don't know why, but sometimes people say I'm an asshole. Now some lady comes in, and if she doesn't want to be called a townie, she sure dresses like one. I agree to treat her pet, but there is no pet. I finally figure it out. This sim expects her sick cat to walk all the way back to the exam table, which just eats into our time and is no doubt cruel. Doc the cat gets a hearing test that would no doubt stress him out. And I run the other small test and realize that this one's different because it's glowing on another part of its body. <laughs> also, in case you didn't notice, the cat has blue fur and last time I checked, they don't really come in this particular shade of blue. Turns out this cat has Winterfest fever, which is something people get annually. They just usually run up credit card debt. I give it a fix it all treat and everything's better. I decide to close because I want to know how much money I made treating those three pets. It says I've made 300 simoleons. I'm a little let down, but it tells me I need to improve my bedside manner. I guess that's why my sim is being a jerk. Low vet skill level. I don't know about you, but that makes a lot of sense to me. Other than disappointment, I do have almost 700 perk points. This means I can hire an employee, and that sounds like the best thing to pick to turn this into a money maker. And the game is being really giving. In the list, I see a powerful sorcerer who wants to be a veterinarian for some reason. 
and surely she will bring a lot to the table. I hire her immediately on site. She's ugly, but she's a sorcerer, and obviously that should be helpful, right? <laughs> I give her an exclusive exam table in the other room, the one that's hard to mop due to the carpet. <laughs> I tell her not to clean, but I should not have done that. So we're getting going on another business day, even though the first one ended only moments ago. In walks a new patient. The same patient! The one from an hour ago! Something feels off about this. How is this cat sick already again with a different illness? I let Minerva handle it and stand directly behind her to make sure she's doing her job. It looks like she kind of does while I'm looking, but man that cat is sick. A new patient comes in with a corgi. This dog has a serious problem. It has moss flying around its mouth and flies swarming it. It's almost like somebody applied existing particle effects to pets, mouths, and feet to make up illnesses. This corgi has mild repugnitis, but I have to calm her down before she can be treated. My next patient is named Bacon and has a glowing nose and blue fur. I remembered it took the Fix-It-All treat from before, so I gave it to him immediately. Two symptoms matching up is probably enough, and it works! The dog is cured instantly. So I try hitting on the owner, but the game glitches. I wasn't going to pursue a relationship anyway. Another lady barges in, demanding treatment for her sick dog. Okay, well really, she just routed into that room randomly. But he has the blue fur, and, but not the glowing nose, so I hold back on my cure everything treatment. I'm guessing that's not it. My gut instinct turned out to be right. It was something else. I noticed the same lady with the cat with an entirely different illness. It must be Munchausen's by proxy. Either she's abusing this cat or the game hasn't generated enough townies. Needless to say, it looks really bad on her. I take care of the rude lady's dog even if I wanted to stick the cone of shame on it just to spite her. While my sorcerer is working on the cat Doc for a third time, I inquire about how Doc is being treated with the only mean socials available to me at the time. I fight for the old cat's sake but end up losing. Now you might think she should be upset since I verbally berated and assaulted her, but she still gives me three stars. Not smarter, but very forgiving. I'm so glad to hear this sound every time I start a patient. But this is another quickie. That same illness pops up again and because I have a memory, I can fix it right away. I'm glad that Minerva is on top of things. She's very thorough. I forgot to make my sims need static, but I see another of that same illness again, so I decide I can probably knock it out before he wets himself in front of the clients. It works, but of course it does. Let's say I feel the first levels of this need some variety, badly. I'll ultimately treat those same two illnesses with the glowing about a dozen times. My clinic hits the two star mark, which seems actually low given I haven't failed to treat a single patient and kept prices reasonable. Oh look, another one. The most notable thing about this is his name is Laser Wolf, which was unique enough to bring up. Yes, ma'am, just walk right through the table and complain about things immediately. Now I'm getting more patients with varied illnesses. This dog has four symptoms, not three. So it's something new, finally. Whatever it was, the end result is the same. A quick shot after running arbitrary tests. <laughs> the game informs me Minerva Charm, the sorcerer, is unhappy, like me. Probably because her shift has been going on for like 15 hours straight. I give her a raise and inspirational speech and she's back to neutral. <laughs> Just where I like to keep them. I guess she's getting better but not living up to my expectations. I wanted sorcery and brooms but I got cranky procrastination. Now I have a new problem. I admit the patient like usual but he goes outside and they won't meet me in the exam room. I struggle with this for like three minutes before realizing I can initiate it on the exam bed. It's just never been necessary until now. I've run into a lot of little bugs in this session. When I finally get the cat in the exam room, it looks serious. This is the first time I'll require surgery to cure the pet. Thankfully, right behind me is a surgery station of questionable quality. I put the cat in, or, well, it puts itself in, which doesn't surprise me given how my cat must always go in the closet every time I open the door. 
I sit here like 60 seconds waiting on something to happen, laughing that the screen isn't even on and thinking it's another bug. I am supposed to pick a treatment, it turns out, because uh, there are other tests you can run, but they are likely more stressful. I was supposed to pick unblock kibble shoot blockage, which my sim succeeds in doing. A lady comes in with a cat named Nixon, uh, which joins Bacon and Laser Wolf as some of my favorites. I finally get to do another surgery, but at this point, I realize that I'm getting bored. Why? Despite its shortcomings, I had fun playing a doctor. Here, I'm seeing the same illnesses, so I think it has to do with how blatantly the animals reveal their sicknesses compared to Sims. It gets rid of the dungeon master, but it holds my hand so much that it defeats itself. The various tests I run don't seem to matter. Very often I can easily cure something without a test thanks to visuals, and when I do need to run multiple tests, I just watch the fear meter and hit calm if it reaches a high level. It begins to go from watching up close, watching on speed 1, to zoomed out, playing on speed 3 because I haven't got a sense any of these tests do anything but reveal symptoms at random. I thought vet was okay, but it gets repetitive super fast compared to others. People call Sims 4 shallow, but this is a kiddie pool. I already felt like Cats and Dogs expansion was really thin in content for $40, but now I know because this is the biggest gameplay feature you get from it. As much as I like the idea my sim can have a pet, it has real flaws. Vet is like doctor meets retail, and it took the illnesses from doctor and the repetitive socials from retail without adding to either. Take the retail system and throw away the time management, but keep all the social menus. It has a very brief list of perks you can purchase, and employees do work most of the time. There's a medicine side to all this that isn't so bad, letting you make your pets immortal or cure them at home, but actually running a vet clinic is not as fun as I remembered it to be. Sorry for my video to be negative, but I didn't really think it was gonna be, and I wanted to play this. I guess it just didn't give me what I was looking for this time.